you can say your name and spell it for the record, please. Okay, my name is Cheryl Olson. Okay. I'm a, I'm a breast surgeon from San Diego who's joining the community at Northern Inyo Hospital to provide breast care for the cancer patients and, okay. and non-cancer patients as well. How long have you been with Northern Inyo Hospital? When did you start? I started in March. Uh, had a transition with the surgeon who was there at that time and so been coming up on my own once a month. I come up for two days and uh, see clinic and operate as needed. I've been in practice in San Diego for 22 years at my current hospital. I practiced uh, two years at Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton before I got out of the Navy, so uh, a little while. Awesome. What made you uh, choose to start with Northern Union? Well, it was a combination of things. One, uh, they asked, uh, but two, I, I liked the idea of bringing my talents and, and services to a community that otherwise uh, might not have them. And the idea of, of taking care of patients in their home community so that they didn't have to travel, especially around surgery, uh, that was um, attractive to me. October is the, the National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so a lot of events happen in October to try to bring awareness to breast cancer. Uh, one, in terms of pay attention, do yourself breast exam, see your doctor, but also just to bring awareness around the women who get breast cancer and what they go through, uh, what's required in order to take care of them. And we still have many, many things to improve on. So there's a lot of fundraising events that happen in October that raise money for various programs uh, that help to take care of women and some men with breast cancer. I think a lot of people don't realize that men can and do get breast cancer. Men can carry the genetic mutations that make them more likely to get breast cancer. And so we have to include the men in our Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Has there been a lot of advancement in, in breast cancer care in the last bunch of years? Well, in, in my lifetime, yes. You know, when I started in residency, it was the beginning of being able to preserve the breast so women could have a, a lumpectomy or partial mastectomy plus radiation instead of just having a mastectomy. And so that was a huge change uh, for so many women and I think it allowed women to get good cancer care without being disfigured. Our trends in treatment have continued. Our ability to do mastectomies and provide immediate reconstruction, have nipple preservation has really come a long way. I can operate on a woman with a plastic surgeon and when they look in the mirror, it doesn't look like they had breast cancer. So I think that is huge. There's been other medical advances that make it more uh, feasible to save women's lives because of the treatment that we give. That's awesome. Um, I know the facilities at Northern Indian Hospital are pretty top notch. Is it definitely a, a destination? I mean, you, we definitely don't need to go anywhere anymore, correct? Well, I think for the, the basic things, no, you don't need to go anywhere. What they've put together, and with the help of Dr. Harness, who preceded me, they put together a very high-end breast program where we have all the state-of-the-art equipment that we use in San Diego. There's a breast or a cancer coordinator or navigator that helps get the patients to the medical oncologist, the radiation oncologist, so they have all the parts of their care that they need. We can't do immediate reconstruction here in Inyo just because of the plastic surgery requirements and the post-op care. I can't be here every day of the week and those patients need to be followed very carefully. And so that's a step that's gonna be a little bit harder to do here, but we can refer patients to appropriate places, make sure we have everything set up. And in some cases we've done surgery here that sets them up for then a delayed reconstruction that still meets where we are with state-of-the-art advances. So we can still do that nipple preservation and the different things that we offer just might have to be in a delayed manner. Well, that's cool. Do you have a schedule of when you're up here? I do. I'm currently here the fourth Monday and Tuesday of the month. So that's just an easy way to predict, sort of mark my schedule out, get patients in, plan surgeries. We do a lot of coordinating breast cancer care takes a lot of people. It really is a team. And I rely heavily on the radiologists to uh, localize the tumors. They do the biopsies. 
They, they help us find the tumors, but they're an integral part of surgery. We also have a key piece of nuclear medicine in finding lymph nodes, we use nuclear medicine. So all that's gotta be coordinated. Thank heavens you're here, but if anybody does have to unfortunately reach out to you, do they just go to Northern Inyo and make an appointment? Right, they can make an in appointment through the specialty clinic uh, or their primary doctor. We're gonna be in process of meeting some of the primaries so they know me by face and name and feel more comfortable referring their patients over for me to evaluate and manage. And some of what I'll be doing is preventative or high risk assessment. There is a population of women who have that genetic predisposition to cancer, whether it be just family history or that genetic mutation, but they need to be evaluated before they have cancer and figure out a good screening program and helping them to, to navigate their risk. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a news story. Thank you and have a great day.